recharge my energy. I don't look at time for no enemy. As the year 2020 kicks off with what may become a historic moment for Africans, especially Nigerians who eagerly anticipate the 62nd Grammy Awards, arguably the biggest annual music award in the world since its establishment in 1959, Grammy Award recognizes and honors outstanding achievements in the music industry. And this year's edition is slated to hold on the 26th of January 2020. Out of the 84 categories listed in this year's edition of Grammy Awards, Bonaboy, a Nigerian Afrofusion singer and songwriter, has been nominated in the Best World Music Album of the Year category, a category for albums containing at least 51% playing time of new vocal or instrumental world music recordings. The announcement was made officially on the Grammy website on the 20th of November 2019 and it left Africans all over the world celebrating the big feat achieved by the African giant. It's for wow. Best World Album at the yeah. Grammys. You could be the first Nigerian based artist to win this award. Yeah. Facts. How did Getting nominated for a Grammy is indeed a historic moment achieved by only a handful of Nigerians in the history of the prestigious award. Winning the award is an achievement that will vibrate through the continent. Most Africans are very positive that Bonaboy will win the award, but taking a critical look at the categories, it is a tough one for Bona. While some think Bonaboy cannot go beyond the nomination to win the award, Many are optimistic that the charismatic singer will bring home the Grammy. We agree with the second school of thought, and here are 11 reasons why. Hello guys, it's T-Code here for African Glints. Bona Boy, The Journey Damili Ebolua Ogulu, popularly known as Bona Boy, is one of the most prominent music artists to come out of Nigeria in the last decade. He introduced himself to the music industry in 2012 when he released his single, Like to Party. He has since then released four studio albums which includes Life in 2013, On a Spaceship in 2015, Outside in 2018 and African Giant in 2019, which is no doubt his most successful album so far. The African Giant album, which was released on the 29th of July 2019, days after his 28th birthday, earned him the Grammy nomination four months after its release. The 19-track album featured artists like Jordan Smith, Future, Angeliki Kijo, Damian Mali, Zlatan, among others. The album has been greatly accepted in the global community. Sheldon Pess of Pitchfork granted the album an 8.3 over 10 rating. August Brown of the Los Angeles Times wrote a month after its release that the album never diluted its sound to cater to Anglo audiences or even to the hip-hop and R&B scenes that are dabbling into Afropop right now. 2. Heavyweight Competitors Five nominees, including Bonaboy, Boy, were selected for the award. These are all exceptional musicians and understanding their music makes one to know just how tough the category is. On the nominee list is Alton Gunn for their album GC. Alton Gunn is a rock and folk band group from Amsterdam. They are new to the game having their first debut album in 2019. Next on the list is Bokanke and Metropole Orchestra for their album What Eat. Bokanke is an international music assemble of eight well-vast musicians from four continents including a two-time Grammy award-winning guitarist. At the same time, Metropole Orchestra is a multiple Grammy-winning hybrid assemble part jazz big band conducted by Jules Buckley. The group won a Grammy Award for the Best Brazilian Album in 2011 and another Grammy for the Best Contemporary Instrumental Album in 2016. So, the orchestra is no newcomer at the Grammy and teaming up with the Bocanque group of professional musicians makes them one big contender. Another dominant heavyweight on the list is Nathan Lee Joachim and the Spectra Quartet for their work on the Fandayiti album, which explores Haitian music heritage. Nathaniel Joachim is a female Haitian American flutist, composer, and vocalist, and this black beauty teams up with Spectra Quartet, a string quartet based in Chicago, who was nominated for a Grammy Award in 2017. The last but not least, Angeliki Kijo for her album Cilia. Angeliki Kijo is a music maverick whose talents has made an impact for over three decades in the music world. 
She has won three Grammy Awards out of four Grammy nominations in the same category. The first award in 2008, the second in 2015, and the most recent in 2016. This current nomination makes it a fifth nomination at the Grammys. With three Grammys and a strong musical presence globally, Angeliki Kijo seems to be the most definite contender to be defeated for the award. Aside the top contenders Bonaboy has to beat to win the award, another factor poses a significant threat, which is that very few Africans have won the Grammy. Only seven Africans have had the privilege of winning a Grammy in its history. This includes Angeliki Kijo, the US-based Beninese who has three Grammys, Wanta Kellerman, a South African flutist and music composer with one Grammy. Tinariwen, a band of Tuareg musicians from the northern region of Mali with one Grammy. Yoso Undo, a singer, percussionist, songwriter and composer from Senegal with one Grammy. Soweto Gospel Choir, a choir of over 30 members based in Soweto, South Africa with two Grammys. Late Ali Fakatore, a super talented singer and multi-instrumentalist from Mali with three Grammy Awards and finally Lady Smith Black Bambazo, a South African male choral group with four Grammys. The only Nigerian to have been considered as a Grammy winner of which he won the award not as an independent artist but as part of the contributors to a foreign work is Sikiru Adikpoju in 2009 winning the Best Contemporary World Music Album for his work with Mickey Hart on the Mickey Hart Global Drum Project. Music artists from Nigeria to have ever come close with nominations include King Sonny Ade with two nominations, Babatunde Olatunji with one nomination, Femi Kuti with two nominations, and Sheon Kuti with one nomination. Other Nigerian artists to have been nominated for a Grammy based on their contributions to foreign work are Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie for her work with Beyonce in 2015, Whiskey for his work with Drake in the same year, Kalo for his work with Rayton in 2017, Tamaya for his work with Morgan Heritage in 2018, and Bonaboy for his work with Fallout Boy in 2019. With all these facts and statistics we just mentioned, the big question now is, does Bona have what it takes to become a Grammy Award winner and break the record? Let's dive into his weapons. Originality in music Talk about an artist who has stayed authentic to his sound without diluting his music with Western influence, Bonaboy would be topping the list. From the live album in 2013 to African Giant album in 2019, Bonner not only shows his originality in balancing his unique genre of music he calls Afrofusion with contemporary sound, but he also stays within the African context in terms of his message. He uses his music as a medium for expressing the African experience. Kian Sian Williams of New Musical Express praises Bonner for using his profile to raise awareness for a better Africa. He said this on his review of the African Giant album, rating the album 4 stars out of 5. The Fela Kuti Effect The Nigerian music star explores the sound of the legendary Fela Kuti and his Afrobeat, and this has knitted the background for Bonner's Afrofusion. Kitty Empire of The Guardian commented that the singer's boundary open mixture of laid-back Caribbean swagger, felakuti swing, and multilingual communique is on a range of concerns. The influence of Fela's music and message resonates through Bonner's repertoire. Bonner's Authentic Jambalala Bonner Boy also adopts dancehall, reggae, American rap, and R&B perfectly mishmash and fusing them with Afro beats. His originality and him a spot on Beyonce's The Gift album as the only guest artist with an independent track on the album. Burner Boy says he is proud of being an African and is willing to represent the continent as the African giant. Personality and Style Bonaboy's originality in music also reflects in his personality and style, which is aided by his strong team consisting of his mom, Bose Ogulu, as his manager, his sister, Ronami Ogulu, as his stylist, 
his grandfather, Benson Idonije, who was once a manager for the late Felakuti, and his team of Atlantic Records. His team can be defined as a family who works together, intending to showcase African contemporary to the world. This is one of the few reasons we believe Burna Boy is ready for the infamous Grammy Awards. Award wins and shows 2019 will be an unforgettable year for Burna Boy, not only for his Grammy nomination, but for the loads of awards the music star received. Out of 23 nominations in 2019, Burner Boy bagged 13. He won all the four categories he was nominated for in the 2019 Sound City MVP Awards Festival as African Artist of the Year, Best Male MVP, Song of the Year, Yay, and Listener's Choice for the same song. He won three awards as Artist of the Year, Best African Act, Song of the Year, Yay, and Album of the Year, Outside, out of eight nominations at the 2019 edition of the Eddies. He won two awards at the African Music Magazine Awards as Artist of the Year and Song of the Year, Yay, out of seven nominations. At the All African Music Awards, Bonaboy clinched both nomination awards for the West African Male Artist of the Year and Album of the Year, African Giant. Across the shores of the African continent, Bonaboy won the Best African Act at the 2019 MTV Europe Music Awards. In June of the same year, he won one of his biggest prizes so far as he was crowned Best International Act at the prestigious BET Awards. Thrilling shows and energetic performances around the world Starting 2019 with receiving an announcement that he will be performing at the 2019 Coachella Valley and Arts Music Festival. He expressed his dissatisfaction on how his name appeared small on the bill of the event, urging the organizers to fix things quick in a deleted Instagram post. The correction was made and Bonner Boy performed on the 15th of April 2019. That was the epic move that ushered in the African giant theme after confidently addressing himself as an African giant. He has since then toured major cities like Toronto, New York, Los Angeles, Atlanta, and other major states in the US for the African giant tour in August and September 2019. A major highlight of shows in 2019 for the African giant was a performance at the Wembley Arena in London. It was a glorious day for the artist as he became the first Afrobeat artist to sell out the 12,500 capacity Wembley Arena. That same night, he won the Best African Act Award at the MTV EMA Awards, which took place in Seville, Spain. Earlier on, Bonaboy had in the previous year sold out the 4,900 plus capacity O2 Academy Brixton on his Live on the Outside tour in London. I ratings so far. Bonaboy's music had gone mainstream since the second half of the last decade, but the global community opened up to the Giants' music full fledged in 2019. The Outside album in 2018 marked the explosion of Bonaboy's music to the world. With a song like Ye, which was enjoyed by top American celebrities like Kanye West, Rihanna, among others, Bonaboy had won the hearts of the American audience. Nigerian British World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua went on to use the song as his entrance song at his iconic comeback fight with Reese Jr. in December 2019. And the song was said to have been rated as the second biggest entrance song of all time, as revealed by Julie Adenuga in an interview with Bonaboy at Beat One Studios, UK, in July of 2019. The artist who was in October 2018, Spotify's new Afro Orb Takeover artist and YouTube's artist on the rise for three months was announced in July 2019 as Apple Music's Up Next artist. The African Giant album has enjoyed positive professional ratings, eating an aggregate mark of 80 over 100, according to Metacritic.com. The album was ranked at number 63 on Vice list of the 100 best albums of 20. 10s beating the likes of Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, and Cardi B. Burner Boy Crush on Gramophone Are you surprised? Over and over again, Burner Boy talked about his love for the Gramophone Award. 
if he's not singing it in his lyrics, he's talking about it in his interviews and shows. He even said the distinctive factor why he chooses Universal Music Publishing Group over Sony Records and Warner Records back in 2015 was because they could bring him a step closer to his long-time crush. Of all the nice Grammy suitors from Nigeria with the likes of Wizkid, Davido, Scales, Nice and even Young Fireboy, Bonavoy seems to be the most prepared and convincing. This probably explains why he paid a visit to a residence at the Recording Academy in July 2019. We hope this stunning beauty who attracts men of all colors, shapes and sizes from all parts of the world accept his proposal as we keep our fingers crossed to find out on the award night. We also hope Steph London finds a space in her heart to let the African giant engage the Grammy Award. These commendable feats achieved by Bonaboy are reasons why we believe he has what it takes to win the 2020 Grammy Award for the Best World Music category. We are happy he's repping Africa well on a global scale and we look forward to the African giant bringing home the Gramophone Award to Nigeria for the first time in history. Do you think Bonaboy has what it takes to win the Grammy Award? If he does, do you agree he is going to win the Grammy Award? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news. Also, don't forget to hit the bell sign to be notified anytime we upload a new video so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.